they were in the downstairs ladies' washrooms, facing the row of sinks. It will be fine, said Constable Ferreter. You just have to read out what they've wrote on the card. We had television in London too, you know, answered Detective Sergeant Cupidi. Right, obviously. Her junior officer pouted into the mirror. Cupidi was still new around here. The young constable was just trying to be helpful. What is it then? Are you nervous? Behind them, a toilet flushed. Nervous? No. I would love to give it a go, being on telly. So why don't you want to do it then? Ten minutes ago, the Kent police press officer had announced it would be better if a woman did the piece to camera. So, Inspector McAdam had suggested his newest officer do it. The woman who had joined them from the Met. Sergeant Cupidi of serious crime. In London, nobody knows who you are, said Cupidi. It's different round here. Ferreta ran a finger across her neat eyebrows. What's the point of going on telly if people don't recognise you? Half the fun. Your daughter will be proud. You don't know my daughter. Besides, I'm supposed to be at home. She'll be wondering where I am. Ferreta smacked her lips together. Want a lend of some of my concealer? Concealer? Why? I could have a go at your hair too, if you like. Jesus. It's an appeal to the public to identify the body of a dead woman. I know. But there's nothing wrong with trying to look nice. Alex Cupidi frowned at herself in the mirror. What was wrong with her hair? I do look nice. Yeah said the young constable. Of course you do. That's the spirit, see? A fist banged on the door. Ready for you now, Sarge. Cupidi paused, ran her fingers through her hair and looked at herself again, conscious of the younger officer's critical gaze. For a second, she imagined she saw not herself, but the dead woman looking back. What's wrong? said Ferreta as if the glass were water and her face was floating below it, just as the corpse had been. She blinked, opened her eyes again. The man from the marine unit in long waterproof waders, hands beneath the pale body floating in the dark ditch water, preparing to lift her out. The long graying hair swirling about her white skinned face as if it were her own. She shivered. She felt suddenly old. Sarge! Come in.